what people have told me, what I'm hearing from all of the kids who watch me, is that people watch Hell's Kitchen. This is apparently like one of the most watched shows. It is a area of congruence between boomers and zoomers. And maybe it's because I'm a millennial and I'm right in the middle. I have never seen this show. And so I am very excited. The only thing I know is Idiot Sandwich. Or you're an Idiot Sandwich. I hope that's in this show. That's my favorite. Hell's Kitchen, US, season one, episode one, uncensored, dude, raw, live and correct. The music is interesting. This is Hell's Kitchen, a hot new restaurant in the heart of Hollywood, California. Cheers. You know what's funny, Shay? I don't even know the context of the show. I know that there's a Hell's Kitchen restaurant in Las Vegas, and I, I, that's all I know. I've never eaten there. I don't know. I don't know anything about Gordon Ramsay besides like a TikTok I saw of him. So this is gonna be interesting. These 12 people have just arrived and are ready to prove to Chef Ramsay they have what it takes to be America's next great chef. Oh. Oh. oh, my name is Dewberry, and I'm a baker <laughs> by profession. All right, my Dewberry. Love of food, it's like a southern thing. I've had two dreams for my life. One of which was to either be a state senator, the other of which is to own a restaurant. Wow. <laughs> I want to either go to the moon or shoot some meth. One of them's gonna happen, baby. All spells. Welcome to politics. Beautiful. <laughs> Ready for hell? In fact, your first test begins right now. Huh? Chef Ramsay's asked that each of you prepare your signature dish. A dish that says something about who you are. Do they get voted off in this show? It was scary to make. I want Dewberry to win. Can I pick Dewberry? I don't think he wins because he seems like a bit of a gomer, a bit of a silly willy, but damn, I like Dewberry a lot. You're saying tradition, and everybody just had this look like a deer caught in the headlights. I am the mother of three and a stepmom to three others. I've never okay. worked alongside of a chef. What the hell am I doing? <laughs> Never worked alongside a chef? My name is Michael. I'm from uh, Hollywood, California, and I'm a dedicated chef. To be able to work with Gordon Ramsay and have him as Also, my... that's an advantage. The one woman is like, I'm a mom. This guy's a chef? How are you going to lose, Michael? Chef. I'm Gordon Ramsay. Welcome to Hell's Kitchen. Whose is this? Andrew. Chef Ramsay. Andrew, step forward. Oh, no. Oh, is he going to be a mean boy? And what is it? It's called Andrew's Absolute Penne. Andrew's Absolute Penne. Correct. Spitting out the first bite of the first dish. That sets a standard. Honestly, he could have liked it, and you still have to do that for the content. That is absolute dog shit. <laughs> no. Oh, have a little shit. taste. Could use some salt. <laughs> could, you, could use some salt. Did he just try to big dog Gordo? You think you're smart, yeah? I have my moments. And how long have you been cooking? About 10 years. What a waste of 10 years. Oh. Get back in fucking line. Oh, man. Is this fried rice with Chinese sausage? Chinese sausage. Had I known you were coming, I would have put lobster in it. Mm. Had I known you were coming, what the fuck? It's Hell's Kitchen. It's Gordo's show. You knew I was coming. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Gordon Ramsay. And who's this? That's my chef. And you work professionally in the restaurant? That's true. And what position are you? The number one. You're the number one? Yeah. With that shit. <laughs> Back in line. Oh, hey, well, that was mean, but he, he couldn't say all he said was that was shit, which kind of is a compliment, maybe. I mean, he didn't spit it out, right? He didn't immediately start talking shit. He just said it was bad. Just explain to me what it is. Uh, t uh, tacos with turkey meat. <laughs> Give us some stank. Gotcha. Give us some stank. You got to call it, or maybe don't call it the absolute tacos because he'll say absolute shit again, but don't just say tacos with turkey meat. That's like going up there with sloppy Joe's. It's sloppy, ain't it, Gordo? Oh. First impressions, it looks disastrous. Okay. But actually, it's not bad. Oh, she did it. Okay. Not bad. Thank you. And whose is this? It's mine, chef. Let's go, Dewberry. Dewberry. This is the king, dude. He's winning season one. And first name? Dewberry. Blueberry. Dewberry. <laughs> uh, Dewberry. Yes. It's mine, Chef. Chris. Executive Chef. Salmon roast on a plank of cedar. I think you're a plank. <laughs> well, I don't really know what that means, Chef. <laughs> 
did they tell Gordo, hey, you have to be mean, but try and do some wordplay. Try and do some wordplay while you're being mean. And he goes, I think you're a plague. And the guy, I, it's, that's honesty. That's honesty from the heart. I don't really know what that means. What does that mean? I am a plague. He actually kind of big dogged Gordo back there, and I respect it. Means an idiot. Ah. <laughs> it's raw. I don't agree. Let me tell you something. Oh. And listen to me. You got a lot to learn. So be a good plank and get back in line. <laughs> Thank you, Chef. Damn, not agreeing frame one. He's Gordon Ramsay, dude. Name? This is extremely important. I quit my job for this. Oh, no. Oh, is this guy going to go home frame one after quitting his job? Are they setting us up? Actual sauce is quite nice. Thank you. Mushrooms are a little bit salty. Steak overcooked. One out of ten. <laughs> First name. Carol Ann. And this is? Chicken Parmesan. How long have you been cooking? I haven't really had any experience. Never? Mm -mm. Very moist. Oh! Actually, it tastes quite nice. <gasps> Thank you. This lady knows how to cook chicken. She's not even a chef. Pog you! So that, maybe that was nice from him. He also might have just been negging all of them. She's not a chef, so I'm gonna say it's good no matter what. It really doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter. He just wants to get content. After witnessing all those dishes, I started to panic. Inside. Oh, no got to actually open and run a restaurant with this bunch. Tonight, Hell's Kitchen is open. <laughs> they just have to cook for patrons? What does that mean? What does that mean, Gordo? There will be a losing team. I think that the blue team, well, shit, but I want to root for Dewberry. This has the girl who won and has the plank. I think the blue team's going to win, though. One person from that team is going home. I would rather be on a team of dishwashers. At least oh. they, they know how a kitchen works. Damn, Chris is kind of a doucher. I, I want it more than a lot of them in there. I kind of want Elsie yeah, to win. Yeah. It's crazy how they tug at my heartstrings. All they have to say is Elsie, mother of six. And I go, oh, yeah, that would change her life. Whereas executive chef is like, fuck that guy, dude. Fuck him. Running a successful restaurant is not just about good food. Ralph? Yes? You're a waiter. Jeff, you're a waiter. Blue team and red team, good luck, because you're gonna need it. Let's go. Thank you, Chef. Thank, Thank you, chef. chef. I can't believe that I got called to be on the front of the house. You know, I think if I was in the kitchen, uh, I'd certainly be able to help. I was a little <laughs> bit relieved that he was putting me into the dining room. I'm very good with people. I do. You can't be relieved that they're putting you in the dining room when your goal is to be like a chef and have your own restaurant. You should want it like Ralph did. Ralph's like, hey, get me back there. I can help them all. I'll help all the people. And this guy's like, thank God I don't have to cook on this cooking show. The big moment has arrived. Wendy, the first order. Chef Ramsay is about to see what his aspiring chefs are made of. It's time for Elsie, who's used to cooking at home for her six kids, to present her first dish for Chef Ramsay's approval. God, she's our hero. Here's the problem. I want Dewberry. I want him to just do it. But Elsie, she's a mom and she's a she, uh. I prepared the first risotto. I just hope I can make him proud. <laughs> Why we see? They're they're framing me. They want me to fall in love with Elsie. They want me her to be the hero. Can I have okay. uh, if Elsie goes home episode one, I'm gonna cry. Is that? Hello. What is that? <laughs> it's plastic food. Elsie, what the fuck is that? <laughs> that's supposed to that's not supposed to be soup. There's no way that's soup, right? What's that? Okay, Elsie, this is crap. Is that the this risotto? Is what is that? I can't. Yeah, it's supposed to be thick, but not. Fucking hell. Maybe not Calm that. Down, okay. Come on. Start it again, yes? Uh, oh! We've got to come to this. <laughs> Plank? God, this guy's a piece of shit. I hate Plank already. Look at him. He sees him throwing away and he goes, oh, yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. He's got a boner right now. Oh, they're pissed. 50 minutes for appetizers? Did he just say, you want to go talk to the chef? Go speak with him? Come on, Ralph, you're throwing. We're hungry. They were getting a little cranky. Oh, and uh, there's nothing too much I could do at that point. I'll go with you. Speak with the chef. Can you get his attention, please? Do something well chef. done. Can you just shut the fuck up for 30 seconds? <laughs> Two something well done. One man, <laughs> one winning team. Yes? Holy shit. Yeah. I think I like this show because I couldn't. I could never. I can't even imagine. And the thought of shut the fuck up for 30 seconds. All that's left is a piece of salmon for the most experienced chef on the red team. Oh, yeah. I want to see Chris fuck this up. What do you think of that? It's a, it's a little fucked up, sir. 
Oh! There you go. Up. No, no, you, you apologise. Don't do, do it again, OK? The executive chef has just sent me an overcooked piece of shit. Aww. Chris has a huge... I'm not about to take shit from Gordon. Uh, I'm not a piece of garbage. Jimmy, you are going to take shit from Gordon. That's the show. What have you done to that? What? Does that look good to you? Why are you serving it to me? That looks like a dog's dinner. <laughs> and you want me to serve that in there? Oh, fuck yourself. Get in the bin. <laughs> Jimmy going, I'm not going to take shit from no one. And then he gets it the exact same, push in his chest. Get that that is so funny. You're going to think I'm the biggest asshole in America. <laughs> yeah, for as long as I'm alive, big boy, I'm never going to serve that shit. My reputation, my lies. <laughs> how does this look, Chef Ramsey? Yeah, what do you mean, how does this look? Hey, Andrew, I'm not going to run to you. I'm trying to run the hot plate here, so would you be so kind to come and talk to me? Listen to me. Yes. Did you hear my fucking question? Now, what are you saying? I'm asking you if this looks acceptable. Right, get it on the hot plate. Pick on me. I don't give a shit. And you think every time you want to <laughs> He's ask so me sweaty. Face, He's so sweaty. He's so sweaty. He does give a shit. He gives it. This looks like every YouTuber apology video. Pick on me. I don't give <laughs> Now, what was the question? Is this acceptable to you? I'll let you know. Now, fuck off. <laughs> Elsie is trying to recover from her disastrous Come on, risotto. Elsie, for the kids. What? Risotto looks delicious. Let's go. Nice. Well, tougher than I ever expected it to be. I completely screwed up. I screwed the team. I've never seen a chef screw up so many bits of meat in one service. It's been over two hours, and Ralph's table still doesn't have their entree. Oh, no! The four blondes have waited two hours and no food? And they're fed up. Let's go. I need the tuna now. Oh, they're 27. back! Oh, no! Okay, here we go, chat. Does he tell them to shut the fuck up again or not? You hurt my friend's feelings. Your friend's feet. Yes. Yeah? Yeah, she's Why? very upset because she told her to fuck off. Oh, really? Okay, can you tell her I meant it? Yeah, all right, I'll <laughs> tell her. Can you escort these two ladies, please? Back to plastic surgery. Ladies, oh. please. <laughs> this is jarring to me because all I've seen from Gordon Ramsay is his TikToks with his children, and they're so wholesome and sweet and nice. So every time he shoves it in their face and says, fuck off, it's jarring. You just shut up and listen and concentrate. We'll do it perfectly. It's like dealing with a bunch of fucking school children. Blue team, stop what you're doing. Forget it. <gasps> Red team, I'm shutting down the kitchen. I'm so pissed off, I'm not prepared to see any more shit food coming out. Shut it down. Damn. Couldn't even get through opening night. Busted my ass tonight, and I'm proud of <laughs> I hope for as long as Andrew is on this show, he is always this sweaty. It's my favorite part about him. When I see Andrew in front of the wine, I know he's gonna say some shit. Of it, and whether he acknowledges it or not, I don't give a crap. <laughs> Bring it on, Ramsey. Chef Ramsey has to choose a losing team. With oh. few successes in the kitchen, he's using customer comment cards to help him make his decision. Over half your diners had a below average experience. Jeff, your performance as a waiter, no one liked you. In fact, <laughs> two out of three of your tables walked out early. Jeff tried. Ralph, most of your customers said the service was outstanding. Andrew. Wait, what? Your customers said the service was outstanding. <laughs> Did he slip him some coke? So, the losing team tonight is the red team. Does Jimmy go home? Oh, it's got to be Jimmy, right? Blue team. Fucked up. You didn't win. <gasps> You're just safe. Elsie, you were the least bad in your red team. I want you to nominate oh! two of your team for elimination. Oh, two? Because then it's not like you can send home and... Oh, no. Go back into the... Oh, no. It's Lord of the Flies. Dorm and come back out with your two... One of them will live and she will have to look them in the eyes. Oh, she better pick Plank, dude. She's got to pick Plank and then probably Jimmy. I'm not in a good place right now. I let my team down. I dropped the ball several times. I think I probably will be leaving tonight. Where are you going? And go lay down with Elsie. Shit, I'm not stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad the shit. I didn't think I was happy here, but then the prospect of actually leaving was not a happy one. If I get picked and Chef decides it's time for me to go, well, you know well, what? Enough. You're not going anywhere. Woo! That's what I'm talking talk. about. Do the do. Do the do. Okay. Elsie, you have your two names. Yes, I do. Tell me your first nominee and why. My first nominee uh, is Carol Ann. 
<laughs> My thought is that if we're gonna be one man less, maybe just one of us being unfamiliar with things is best served. Second nominee is Dewberry. She lied! She lied to his face! What the fuck? You know, if I get picked and Chef decides it's time for me to go. I thought uh, Dewberry showed a lack of energy and interest in what was going on today, and I think that lack of energy could... You're dead to me if Dewberry goes home. Probably hurt the team in the long run. Jimmy and Jeff, boy oh boy, you dodged those bullets well tonight, you know that? Yes, yeah, Chef. Yes, yeah, Chef. Caroline, Dewberry, you two step forward, please. I don't think you should underestimate somebody who doesn't have any experience. He doesn't even know what to say to make fun of that. He's like, I should say something mean. <laughs> um, I do feel that I have more of a base knowledge and that certainly does give me an advantage. We have a great base knowledge. Mm -hmm. Where? Just in general things. <laughs> That's a hard decision. <laughs> it really? So my decision is? Carolyn. I was terrified. I would have sworn that Dewberry was going home after those. Holy shit, we live to fight another day. Get out of here, Carol Ann. Oh, oh, she's crying. I told you, never, ever turn your back on the team. Give me a jacket. Now, Hell's Kitchen no longer needs you. Damn, but she picked Dewberry after telling him he was safe. Oh, episode two is going to be so scary. <laughs> didn't do good. Fuck you, blue team. I know I predicted you two to win, but they're not at each other like, yeah. Yeah, they're bad chefs. Fuck you. And fuck you. That's enough for tonight. Shit. I was so shocked to be put up on the chopping block. If the next time it were me picked, I would certainly have to consider that it would be payback time. Some can handle it, some can't. Whew. Oh my god. Brutal. Heroin's dead. I mean, I have to watch another one, right? We, we have to. I can't go home on that. What happens to Dewberry? That was fucking insane.